forgot to put powder on. Oh man, shit! I forgot to put powder on. I and, can't hear myself very well. And I only yelled. Oh god. Why I know. Don't you I did. Complain a little more just to get under your nose. Uh, well, it worked, <laughs> man. I'm all hot. The last like two minutes. Oh god. All of a sudden, I got super hot. Family of trolls. <laughs> hey. But what does that even mean? <laughs> Welcome to the Sam Livecast. I'm Sam. Uh, it's a fun night. We're doing something cool with some beer tonight. I'm making one of my favorite things to make. Perfect beer dish. With, Perfect beer dish with, with shock one top. One of my favorite beers. But just yes. not shock top. Wait, do you see the delivery system for the shock top? That's the best freaking part of the whole. Oh thing. yeah. Wait, the best freaking part of the whole night. Yeah. Episode two hundred. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can't believe. Yes. Welcome that. to episode two hundred, ladies Where, and gentlemen. How did this happen? I don't know. Where did this? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. But anyway, you can go to facebook.com slash same the cooking guy. Tell us how awesome we are. We'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Yes. Tell us please. how awesome we are. Yeah. 200. Come on. Scott writes, uh, dear live cast, I love QP and Sriracha and it's all your fault. <laughs> Would never have found these lovely condiments without you. Keep the live cast at 60 minutes plus and it will be okay. This 30 minute shit has to go. Oh, wow. That's a strong, strong language. That is a strong, opinion. strong opinion there. Yes. Scott, thank you for, uh, thank you for writing. Who's this? It's from Linda. Hey, everyone. Just note to say, I love the live cast. Can you show uh, your wonderful garden that I see a glimpse of on one of the shows? Really would love information. With the high-end cost of food, it would be nice to see your garden and cooking ideas from the bounty from the bounty of nature. Thank you so much. And can you make a creamy salad dressing and winter soup? Wow. That's a lot of requests right. there. <laughs> winter soup ideas and creamy salad. Have a great day, Linda. That's nice. And can you... What? No, I don't know. that was a lot of requests. And Sally writes, uh, husband and I made air reservations. San Diego, Vancouver, BC. Been there several times during the college tours with our daughter. We love it up there, however. Never made it to Chinatown. Any ideas for restaurants? We love dim sum. Also, we stayed at... Uh, yes. We're like our flying back to Seattle for B&B with daughter near Seattle. Think you're going to... There's properties for those two. Thanks, Sally. <laughs> Excuse oh, thanks me? for the specialty produce and fixtures living mentions. Both have been great to us. Great. Nice. It's good to hear. We love that. Hell yes. <coughs> Is that it? We were going to hey, keep this really short tonight, you right? Tell, thanks, what? everybody, you for tell, coming. Uh, okay. Can I just bring up something <laughs> that yes, I emailed you, you about? So, on my birthday, well, this is this last Sunday, and on Monday on the show, you gave me a Roku, which yes. we are on right now. And for those that don't know, Roku is just... I mean, we're not really sponsored by Roku. We're not really pimp. It's just a really cool. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Just let me clarify that statement. Are we? It's not that we're not really sponsored. We're completely not sponsored we by Roku. Not okay. spo Roku we like Roku because we have a Roku channel. Yes. We don't benefit from it. We don't make any money from it. Do we? Do we make any money from uh, it? Uh, we have yeah, not made a like, cent from it. No, I haven't well, seen a check yeah, yeah. from them. There's yet. no Roku money. Okay. <laughs> let me clarify. But we that. like <laughs> it because we think it's a cool way. We do make to money deliver, from it, though, by to the way. deliver this show. We do? Yes. We could if, if, but we haven't. Uh, okay, that's, yes, we're not going to discuss the details about our finances. No, 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 no. we <laughs> hope to at some point, but Lack whatever. Lack of finances. <laughs> <laughs> we have no finances. This we is should just a black omit hole. this part from the show, but Roku. No, no, go right? ahead. <laughs> Roku is a great way to watch, like, quite literally everything. And yes. I, yes. oh yeah. We're talking about how you can replace this with cable, and what better way to supplement, like, great streaming movies and videos from you know big places like hulu and netflix mm -hmm. with us and like all i have right now is you know like amazon hulu and then the sam livecast channel yeah, yeah. and it's like a really it makes us look so darn official and professional because we are uh, i'll tell you something you know the it's roku amazing. box uh that box was 79 bucks oh now you know how much we spent oh. for you on your birthday thank you I appreciate the only it. difference <laughs> between that and the higher end one is the other one does gaming Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Are you, you do? I did actually, I, did, I saw an Xbox, that picture you sent us. Oh yeah, I was do. There, there I was do an Xbox there. So I didn't realize that. What part of gaming does it do? I don't know. It does awesome. something. It's, it's it, an interesting product though. It does gaming and it does, uh, and the only, di the other difference is you can plug like an ethernet cord into it for somebody that wants to be wired as opposed to wireless, oh, yeah. but oh, it sits it. wirelessly. It lives, uh, uh, like any wireless, uh, wirelessly enabled device in your home. Mm -hmm. If you yeah. have ethernet in your home. <clears throat> the box gets it. You need an HDMI cable between the box and your TV, and you get everything that's out there on the big internet. 
even the addition of a Netflix account, which is like eight bucks a month, will bring you a jillion movies. A jillion. So much. And, do- so and documentaries. I'm, I'm a favorite fan and of the TV documentaries. And TV shows and just And everything. TV shows. But the, the, the HBO Go thing that has all HBO junk on it. I mean, it's a ton of stuff. You don't need cable anymore. You don't need cable anymore. And the I mean, coolest thing is you see our show sitting right next to mm-hmm. all these like big channels. And it's, man, it's a I great like way that. to solidify it. It's and, cool. I know a lot of people that's uh, a lot of people now that are, are are watching us on there because it's a very comfortable way to do it. Look, mm-hmm. I understand the majority of the people that watch the Sam Livecast are not watching live uh, at the moment. A la minute, they're not, and and that's cool. I mean, it's dinner time for a lot of people. People work whatever their days are. A lot of people in other parts of the country that six p.m. Pacific Coast time doesn't work for them, but they consume the show. Now, a lot of them on Roku, a mm-hmm. lot of them watching on iTunes, which, by the way, if you have Apple TV, you can get uh, iTunes on your big screen, too. And watch us there, too. And yeah. watch us there, mm-hmm. too. It's just a great thing to do. It's a great, it's a great way to go. And, and I keep saying this. There is no monthly recurring cost with, any of the, with the Roku or the Apple TV. You pay once. Yep. 79 bucks, and you're done. Hell, yeah. For sure. Mm. This is Max's ballot. I'm not going to show... This was your other one. You had it. You somehow you registered <laughs> so, uh, twice. I got, I got two. You I got think two. I registered at two addresses. Yes. Okay. So obviously you're not going to submit this one, and I don't want to show no. anything on here. But I would have never voted for that guy. <laughs> but the point is, He's never seen a ballot. I've never seen a ballot because I can't vote. Uh, does this what it looks like when you go into the booth? I actually is it the same know thing? about that. You've only I've voted. Never, I've only voted absentee. absentee. Mm-hmm. Can somebody tell us? Does an absent is, it, is this what it looks like in the booth? Same thing. I actually never been in a booth either. Do you still pull levers? No. What do the levers do? They, no, Are the levers the, the shit that that all happened states, in Florida? All states have different things. No, in, in Florida it was the chads, the hanging. Oh, you chads. actually pushed in with it was a like a push, pencil kind but of. But some certain states, I mean, every state has different election law. So, um, uh, the election board of a certain state will say, okay, we're going to only use these types of machines or we're only going to use these types of machines. I see. Yeah. Well, and so here we did in California, you just scribble. No, you yeah, fill in here the with the absentee, you just fill in your bubble. But when then... you go into Shannon, when you go into a booth here, you just fill in with a pencil. Yeah, just like that. Mm-hmm. I got it. I can, I just say that I'm sick and tired of Every political ad that's on TV, yeah. I'm tired of the much. wrangling. I'm tired of the back that's and forth. Insane. I'm tired of the fucking propositions. I'm never going to use the word prop ever again for anything. <laughs> I won't say prop that up against the wall. I'll say <laughs> lean it up against the wall. I can't stand the word. I can't stand how each side can make the other person look like the world's biggest piece of crap ever. I know. And that their side is... They're saints and they're sinners. And, and everything's... Uh, Joe Smith kicked sand in a five-year-old girl's face. Is that who you want running for Congress? <laughs> well, Joe Smith did that when he was five years old. <laughs> do kicked you, sand in it, another five-year-old's face, and yet they bring that stuff out. Do you want a baby killer in Congress? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, really. Right. It's unbelievable. Paul Ryan supported a plan to murder your grandma. <sighs> <laughs> I mean... It's crazy. But, uh, this I can't. Is okay. Something that stand I noticed yes. that kind of infuriated me during the debates was yes. how every basically every single time one candidate would have his two minutes, the first thing that the that the next person would say almost all the time yeah. would be, "Well, that's all wrong." But yes, each time they just say, "Well, that's completely untrue." It's like they just deny what you know. Or how about this? Uh, in that first one where the, the people got up and read their questions. The second one, yes. The, the second one? Mm-hmm. It's a great question, Mr. Smith. I'm really glad you asked that. Mm-hmm. Everyone. Yeah. Why are you such an asshole? That's a good question, Jeremy. Thank you. I'm glad you've asked that. <laughs> and you know what? I respect your opinion, and that's what's great about America. I, politicians, <laughs> please. Can you trust them for anything? I don't know. I mean, look, one part, it's all the same thing. Once they get there, they yeah. should make one party and just figure it out. <laughs> Shouldn't they? Isn't it all same shit, different day? Yes, essentially. Same shit, different party. It's the same stuff. We all want the same thing in this country. We want to be happy. We want a nice way of life. We want to make sure that we leave the world a better place for our kids. We all want the same things mm-hmm. for the most part. There's a few nuances out there, but 
Can't they just all get in there and play nice? I don't get it. But that's the thing. I feel like I just don't get it. We're at a, we're at like the most. It it's the way, the way that okay the the uh, the way that you're describing the state of things. Yes, I think it's the worst that it's ever been like that. So we have to be reaching some sort of critical mass. That's something's got to change. You, I feel like our generation, mine and Lynn's, is uh, very uh, different. Our our political ideology is not as set in stone as the previous generation. So I think that we're gonna maybe have an easier time. Uh, compromising. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'd I like hope to, so. I'd, I'd like to think so, yeah. I would like to think so. But you know what? Every so often they play some of those old like 1950 black and whites kind of. Uh-huh. I'm not going to get I'm going to get the period wrong, but Roosevelt-ish kind of political things. 30s and 40s. 30s and 40s. Mm-hmm. They look pretty whipped up in those those times too, you know. Yeah. I, I don't know that it's just today and I don't know how you yardstick measure the no, no, no. The sorry. Yeah. ferocity of the campaigning today versus 30, 40, oh, 50 well, years ago. I, I wasn't talking about the ferocity of the campaigning, but I mean, it's a, is that, it's wait, a pretty, is that a word? Ferocity? Ferocity. ferocity yeah. I think exactly. it's, I think it's pretty common knowledge that we're the most polarized that we've ever been. Not that, not to say that we weren't polarized even in the thirties mm-hmm. when the new deal mm-hmm. passed, it was, I mean, essentially uh, as it was as polarized, uh, close, you know, we're getting, right. we're getting talking about. Yeah, history. we're getting yeah. to talking I, about I, that. I, I, want to get out. I want to get out the politics. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's just it hurts. I still don't have a cup of beer in my hand, dude. I know oh, we're going goodness. to. We're getting there. <laughs> Tell the people what we're cooking tonight. We're getting there. Uh, we're making a thing I call barbecue shrimp, and it doesn't require barbecue. It's just a sort of New Orleans ish kind of thing with shrimp and butter and lemon and beer, and it's going to be so. Oh, they're so good. They're no, so damn good. No, no barbecue <laughs> required. And though. we're trying to, you know, I keep saying this. Kelly and I are trying not to eat poorly we're trying to make better choices but this required a big fat loaf of big sourdough bread to dip into this <laughs> butter uh beer Yum. lemon sauce after a couple pictures for us to look at everybody remembers blue steel blue steel left because mrs blue steel had a baby well here's here they are the happy father Aww. and the two children so, so the baby cute. so that's steve and look how much um <clears throat> Emma, uh, not the baby looks like Steve. They have yeah. the exact they same mouth. Yeah, look, you can't see the baby. No, no, no. You can't see. There's another picture, but still. No, like they're they're like they got the brown. same. Uh, the they got same, the same yeah. eyelashes. <laughs> so they're in the, the same, same pose. mouth, same <laughs> pose. It's crazy. That's really so the cute. the baby the baby is uh, Ellis Leon. Oh. L E O N. That's Leon. cute, huh? It's not L Y O N. Like. No, it's L E O N, and I said, "Dude, Leon. everybody's gonna call the kid Ellis Leon and Leon, think it's a boy." Yeah. Ellis Leon, Ellis in class, right? The teacher's gonna do that thing, looking yeah. around for a boy. Ellis Leon, Ellis Leon, and uh, a girl will stand up. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with having another gender's name, <laughs> right? The right? only yeah. male Lynn I've ever Is that true, Lynn? Is that true? Lynn is right. mostly but, women. I, I mean, there's like it is one mostly that's women. True, Lynn Swan is a famous NFL. Oh yeah, you right. know. Player, by the way, by the way, it. that movie made me cry. What movie? Brian Song. Wasn't Lynn Swan, Swan one no. of the two football players? Oh, man, you are such a... No, God, that's like going Who was back it? to Ice Castle's days. <laughs> Knock it off. Who okay. was it in that movie? Not Lynn Somebody Swan. Google Brian, <laughs> Brian Song. A professional okay, I'm, Lynn, on it, I'm, on it, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Why yes. were you named Lynn? Uh, my uncle's name is Lynn. Okay. <laughs> He's a girl, a girl name, but too. His, no, his name is spelled differently. They just thought it'd be fun to spell it a different way. That's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a girl name too. <laughs> yeah, how old are you, dude? <laughs> I went My to school with a Avery. Tracy. A guy's name is Tracy. And I was always uh, like, Tracy, okay, how does a guy... See, I've, known, I've actually a known woman, a guy, Tracy. A mother but... name her son Tracy. Shannon, Shannon, Shannon dated a guy named Shannon. Yeah, did? Yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's <laughs> what? So what? Uh, <laughs> that would be too awkward. Shannon and my girl. Anybody look up Brian Shannon. Swan? Brian Song? Brian Song doesn't say anything about. Who are the football players in Brian Song? So a black Sam, and white football actors. player. No, no, Lynn, Lynn Swan. Lynn Swan was. It was a movie. They no, know, it, was was a, it was name. a real story. But Lynn Swan was a player after the 70s. Yeah, and this movie came I'm out in 71. That is, you're going oh, back. Who was it? Get the name. Somebody, please. <laughs> Kelly, look at the frick, the damn Facebook. Gail Somebody Sayers. Please. Gail Sayers and. I don't it's know. not. There was Lynn two Swan. football There's players. No way. J.C. Caroline? No. 
See, There's none of two, us know their names. Two main I'm, players. I'm you telling are you, so old. watch the movie. You Nobody will cry. I swear to God. Case. Yeah, and I swear it, to God, you will cry if you watch that movie. Back it up. With and I'm ice completely castles. in touch, obviously, with my feminine side. But and I don't like the movie Ice Castles. I just like that song from it. We bring up the most random movies here, man. <laughs> I have not heard of it. I like well, the song from. Talk it. some food. If you have any idea what my husband watches on television. Oh, seriously. <laughs> he does watch the weirdest Let me look. Can I say that um, uh, Monday Brian on this Piccolo. show? Yeah, Brian Piccolo. Brian is the other football player. Gail Sayers. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, you could see how I would be confused with Lynn Swan. Yeah, but Lynn Swan wasn't, he was probably still a toddler back <laughs> then. Saying, I don't know. It struck me as it might have been the name. Monday on the Sam Livecast, an actual Food Network uh, host of a TV show. In this kitchen, right here, sitting beside me, mm. from yep. the Food Network show Mexican Made Easy, Marcella Valladolid. I love her. She's so cute. She's so nice. I had such fun with her at the Tijuana Innovadora event in, in TJ a few weeks ago. She's going to be here. She's going to be telling her story. And it's a different story than mine, but the point is if you want to do something you keep chiseling away at it that's the point mm -hmm. we had jason marco here text artist a couple weeks ago jason's story similar thing was doing something that he didn't like he actually got fired which in jason's case turned out to be a really good thing yeah but the point is he's doing something that he wanted to do marcel is doing something she wanted to do. i'm doing something that i wanted to do who knows where any of this takes you but the point is, a little bit of happiness goes a long way to make the 8, 10, 12, 14, 20 hours a day that we work much more comfortable. Amen. I Facebooked something today. I said, does it, can you show my Facebook post? Yeah, we'll get to it. Does anybody know why <laughs> I put gold mine at 315 <laughs> on my um, uh, calendar for tomorrow? There I have no is. idea what it is. That's... I'm telling you, I have no idea what the gold mine is. And I've known that I do shit like this. So now I'm getting better. I'm forcing myself to write a... a, a Details? A, a sentence <laughs> of explanation. I just can't put Neil Smith or Neil. Uh, because that's what I would do. Neil, 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what it was. And I wouldn't go anywhere. And I'd get a phone call. Hey, dude, it's Neil. <laughs> you coming over here or what? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Now I have to put go see Neil at his whatever at 4 o'clock. Gold mine, no clue. I was no clue. Hoping that we would come in today at like five or so, and you'd be like, "Congratulations, I've hit the gold mine. We're all <laughs> going to retire." Was, That's not what say, it I is. I hope it benefits me, for God's sakes. <laughs> I have to endure this shit every night. <laughs> That's not holy. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That's a little whoa. strong. She hates us. That's a little she strong. Hates us. We yeah. have a new contest to talk about. Yeah. We're going to talk about it right now. I'm excited. Ew. This is a much simpler one. Uh, than before, and everybody can enter. Well, I guess suppose everybody could enter before. Here's what it is: we call it. We're calling this contest. Show us your food. Yeah, baby. Show us your food. Show us your food. It's that simple. Show it to us, baby. Look, Look it right there on the top. Here's the deal. Show us some of your pictures, Lynn. Okay. Lynn goes to great lengths at the end of each live cast to take pictures, and his pictures are beautiful. And he's a professional, so his shit's gonna look great. I'm not a professional, and I think a lot of my food shots look great because I adhere to a few simple rules. I look at a lot of food blogs. I see a lot of bad food photography. It's not that difficult. And you know, there's that dumb expression, you eat with your eyes. Well, you don't you eat with your mouth. You see with your eyes, but it's the first thing, the first sense that kicks in when somebody puts a plate of food in front of you, generally the first. Sometimes your nose gets it first. So here's what this is about. This is about making you better at putting food on the plate in a nice, pretty way. Mm -hmm. No more slopping crap on a plate and sending it out to your troops. Don't do that. Here's what we want you to do. We want you to take pictures of your food. It doesn't matter what it is. Does it matter if it's lobster and risotto? No. Does it matter if it's truffles, foie gras, and a $2,000 glass of champagne. No. It can be a cheeseburger. It can be French fries with pulled pork on top. Oh, God. And <laughs> gravy. How good would that? I should have done that last night. Um, <laughs> it would have been delicious. Pork, yeah. Right? It can be anything. 
we're not judging the food we're judging the comp the composition the lighting and the picture and that's pretty much it well it's got to make us hungry too right it's got to make us hungry you should look at the food there's a food site there's a couple of food porn sites <laughs> that that are just pictures of food that i looked at the other day and this is what got me thinking about this i was looking through some of the pictures and there some of them were awful like people just sending any old random piece of crap in just because it looks good to the person taking it doesn't mean it's a great picture so here's what we want you to do we want you to look at the website go to the recipes page look at some of the pictures that lynn's taken go to my instagram the cooking guy i send pictures of food that i take mm -hmm. out fairly often finally and they Thank look you. great and they look great you got a good eye man thanks dude yes us. take a <laughs> <laughs> take a picture of your food but so that we know it's really something you made the sam livecast logo has to be in the picture somehow can i stop you for one sec yes i um w so this was this was what we came up with for to determine whether or not it actually is real right yes but how do we stop them from taking pictures of things that they got at a restaurant? Uh, here's the deal. They could bring the logo with them and just put it of there. Of course they could. It's, it's a and food photograph contest, right? And you know what? Yes, but we want, we want to we award want it to the be real winner. food. Yeah, so you here's can't the deal. Just... If they want to cheat, they can cheat. That's fine. Well, here's my thing. But we're going to post the pictures on the Facebook, on the site. It's what's going to happen is you're going to send them in. We're going to have... We're going to bracket this. What are you doing with your fingers? I, I was trying to figure out how many brackets in each side we're going to have. Yeah, 16. Like, we're going to have eight, game, eight, eight, eight matches on each side. Could we do more? We, we can, can do 32 yeah. if we Did wanted, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Well, the pen, if nobody sends in, we might have two <laughs> becomes one, right? Two, two, one, one, and then a winner. However many we get, we're going to pick the best ones. I'd like there to be two, two brackets of 16 if we can do that. And we will put them on the Facebook and we will talk about them right here, but we won't just be judging. We'll put up a bracket and we'll let y'all judge. Yeah. Right. I think that's good. That, that's, so it takes us good. out of it now. Yes, we will judge, but you guys, and you'll be able to see the voting right there. Mm -hmm. We want this to be fair, square, open. And if you want to put a chef's food in, put a chef's food in. You just got to live with yourself. <laughs> Look, yeah, we went through this whole thing. Section. We went through this whole thing the other day about me offering up the fact that somehow I didn't end up paying for my groceries at the store. I could have just skipped out. Wasn't the right thing to do. I want this to be your food. Look, if it's your husband's food or your wife's food or boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever, significant whatever, that's fine. But and don't be sitting in a fancy restaurant and go, oh, look, Sam logo right here. Click yep. and then offer it as your we own. We will That's publicly right. shame you. Yes, we will. We will publicly shame so, you. So on the page, you will find a link to the logo. You can print the logo out and put it by the plate. Don't cover up your food with it. <laughs> right? Don't, don't do not that. Top, we'll no. put an example on there of what we want after we take our picture tonight. Yeah, for sure. It just needs to be by it. You can have the logo on your phone and have your phone by the plate. Simple. True. You've got till November 15th, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you've got. Oh, yeah. And Max, tell them what the prize will be. <laughs> Wait, did we decide? No, we didn't decide. Oh, <laughs> decide God. Anything. I was like, what? We'll figure okay, out what Am I not listening? Um, your yeah, first, suggestion, your cool first suggestion was come here and watch the live cast. Yes. Right? But what if they don't live here? Yeah. Well, let's so we'll figure it, it out. It will be worth it for just sending a picture in to info at the samlifecast.com. Yes. It's not a whole ton of effort, but it requires some creativity and some... Uh -huh. I know. I know. Processes. I just figured out one of the prizes I got in my head. And don't forget, yeah. facebook.com slash guy. That's where you guys will get updates on this contest and uh, any new information that might come out. Right. So be sure to keep checking on that. Like it. Tell your friends. Uh, that's it. Thank you. That's it. Mm-hmm. Let's cook. Oh, yeah, I want shrimp. Let's get this going. Okay, so let's get this going. So it's time to cook. But first, you know what? We have an unbelievable sponsor that you could take a second to talk about. Talk about fixtures living right here in San Diego, Dowdy Street off of Miramar Road. Look at it. It's Thursday. It means tomorrow's Friday, and then there's the weekend. I know you're looking around your kitchen, and you're going, hmm, that's looking a little old. Should we do something about that? Maybe you should, maybe you shouldn't. But why don't you go to an idea store, a place where there are vignettes all over the place set up, of all cool, all badass, all amazing, and all different kinds of kitchen and bath equipment. Boom. Bathroom equipment? That's not what they call it. <laughs> no, it's definitely not equipment. It's definitely either. not equipment. <laughs> well, sometimes you work the hell out of it, but it's really not equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, so, 
Fixtures living here in San Diego on Dowdy Street. They're in Rancho Mirage outside of Palm Springs. And their flagship store in Costa Mesa in the SoCal collection at, I don't know what that street is. What's that street? In Costa Mesa? In Costa Mesa, it's off of. I, I was just going to say the freeway exit off the 405. Anyway, go there. It's a store of dreams. It mm-hmm. really is. And if you're out of Southern California and you can't make it there, go to the Facebook page, like it, and support the show. Look at we, that. We have the best fans out there, and we know you guys want to support us and support the show. So there please do nice. everything you can for that, and just go to their Facebook page or click nice a button. Work. Nice work. We appreciate it. Okay, I'm ready. Should we cook something? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, good. Here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, her love isn't on. Okay. Shit. Okay, I can fix that. Yeah, you can just turn it on real quick. Excuse me. Where's your little pack? Whoa, whoa. I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, so for those who are wondering, uh, so, Kelsey yeah, for your, is from Anheuser-Busch. So Kelsey's from Anheuser-Busch. I should, by way of explanation, I should say this. I've done these uh, Sam's Taste Tour events around San Diego yes. mm-hmm. with Shock Top Beer that we're big fans of. We've done them at uh, restaurants and bars. People come, they watch, I cook, we have all, all kinds of fun. Yeah. So Kelsey, I asked to come here tonight to talk about this, which oh. looks like... Which it looks like a weapon or something, yeah, right? Yeah, just this, <laughs> this, this weird thing, but it's this new Draftmark uh, keg-like delivery system for your beer. Yeah. That I think is really cool. It's very cool. It's Yeah, it's an appliance to get draft beer in your home. An appliance. An appliance. I guess that's probably a good term for yeah. it, right? Uh, okay, so we can't drink anything until we show you how this works. So let's show them how it works. Okay, so explain what this part is. So I'll uh, just say, the, the standard way to get a larger quantity of beer in your home, if you're the supermarket, you buy those little little baby cakes mm-hmm. that hold... Mm, about a gallon. Is that what this is? A little bit over. This is a gallon. It's a gallon. So you put them in your fridge and then you, you crack it and you pour the beer in. Yep. And they're good for whatever, a few weeks or something. It's an interesting thing, but the problem with it is, is that air gets into the air beer. Air gets in, so it's CO2 based. Yeah. Um, and once air touches beer, it oxidizes, it makes it stale, <coughs> it loses carbonation, all of that stuff that makes beer icky, icky okay. tasting. So with the draft mark system, we don't have that problem because there's no CO2. It's all a pressurized system. And there's that, we'll explain about the bladder yep. in here, which yep. is which is really cool. But so this is how it comes. You go to the store and you would buy it like this, right? Correct. And then pull to open. Yeah, there's instructions on it. It's easy. This is like the perfect thing for a, I mean, the beach or a party or anything. And it's all battery powered too. Yeah, so, so this so thing I've charged up. There's a little pack back here uh, that has these these rechargeable batteries in. Right? Cool. This guy. That I hope I charge them up properly. Me all too. you do is plug it in. Did you see a green light? Yeah, I okay, think so. Okay, you did, right. I think so. It might have been real fast, though. <laughs> He's okay. throwing stuff. Let's right. hope you charged it. So here's what we do. We have to open this up, right? Yes. Okay, so on, on the packaging, it actually gives you the steps. So I think step one was on there saying open it. Okay, so we've done So that. step two is here on the little spout. All right. Yeah. So Insert you open, spout. Yep. Open here. You open that. But first you want to open that. I was about to do that, and you kind of pulled me back. <laughs> Sorry. So where does this go? Okay, so that goes um, right in here. So there's instructions like again. Yep. It fits right in. Actually, this way. You want to get the black oh. that's what part in? <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, because that's going to be the spout. that's going to be the spout. Okay, then you shut it. And then you shut it. Watch your fingers. So it's shut. It's shut. Yep. And now the beer goes in? Now the beer goes in. So you insert the beer in that way. <laughs> And so what, what difference, so we've got... And then you have to twist. So you rotate to lock, so just it's rotate. Okay. okay. I put it in perfect. You did. I didn't have to <laughs> you rotate. You didn't have to rotate. You just want it to sit in that little channel. It's supposed to click, so let's just... Oh, yeah, oh, you're right. exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. How interesting is that? Oh, weird, you're right. So this is, uh, this is the, the standard shock top, yes. Belgian white. Yep. There's different versions of this. There are. And? Um, well, else? with the draft mark unit, you can have the IPA as well. You can. Can I close this now? You can. Close it hard. Perfect. Wow. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> and then <laughs> it makes a the sound. <laughs> oh, so I thought it was going to start it's basically, out No, no, <laughs> it's basically the battery just energizing. In your face, man. I got it. <laughs> so I've got two cutting boards so here beware. because I wanted it high enough that we could see this. All right, now yes. you said... Okay, so 
Unfortunately, the first pour is a little foamy. I think it's because when you're putting it in, you're shaking it a little bit. Right. It has to release some pressure. So like any draft system, <laughs> you pull the tap all the way. All the way? All the way. Because if you don't, then it's like a hose right, I can do this. with a kink in it. And you want the glass at 45 degrees. It's coming out nice now. Sam's not very yeah. good at math. Help him out. I know. 45 degrees. So, so okay, now we so can right. switch over. Now we can switch You'll over. You'll get a little bit of foam at first. But what's nice about... The draft mark unit is that it provides a lot of a thick collar. Of is this the right the way head. to? Is this the right way to do this? Perfect. Oh yeah, wow. nice pour. It's beautiful. Forty-five degrees, nice. And so, honey. how many yeah. ounces are in this? Wait, you said a gallon. What is There's that? There's a gallon. It's 128 ounces. So with a 12 wondering, a, ounce pour, you're getting about 11, depending on how much. About 11 of these. Yep. That is sweet. And that's perfect. Wow. I know. Beautiful, right? Yeah, I hate to drink alone, but there's no other one to pour. You Wait should pour. Wait a second. Why don't you, why don't you start? Okay. Pour yourself, and then you know what we're gonna do. Then I'm gonna make some space. I'm gonna start. Perfect. I'm gonna start cooking. Excellent. This doesn't really take a long time, but it's gonna be great. Barbecue shrimp time. Barbecue shrimp time. That's super. So the beautiful cool. part of this, I, I'll tell you what I like. Um, well, a, I like the beer a lot. Yes. Two, uh, I love the idea of the bladder system, and it, it's hard for you to see it. I mean, I guess if you it's if you shine a light through yeah. on one side, you would see. So what the bladder means is that inside here, it's basically like in a bag. Mm -hmm. And as the beer depletes, the bag goes down. It keeps air from getting in, right. and it keeps it fresh. And this will be a if eleven glasses of beer is going to last, you know, thirty it's not days. It's not going to last you a month. It's but not going to last will a month. Stay I mean, fresh it, for up to a month, if not longer. As it long could. as it's stored in the fridge, you have to keep it in the fridge. I got you. Yeah. But what I like is it stores this way as opposed to the up and down. Exactly. Because here's the thing, those little keg things that the other guys make, they're they tall and they take up a lot of room. It's difficult. You have to difficult. remove shelves You got to remove there. shelves and yeah. stuff. No, this right. is just so a great right It's a great system. Oh, Perfect. here. Cheers. Should we try this? Yes. To episode 200. This is episode yes. 200. I'm so cheers. excited. Cheers. Nice. Cheers, cheers, cheers. And? Oh, Fresh God. draft beer. It's fresh draft beer. I know. But there's nothing. It comes in other flavors too. What else do you get? So you get um, Michelob Amberbach, mm -hmm. Bass, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then the traditional Budweiser. Wow. Yeah. So here's, you know, this is interesting. So uh, Anheuser Busch, one would have thought, was the largest beer maker in the world. Mm -hmm. Or brewery. What's the right word? Yeah, either one. But it isn't. Anheuser Busch InBev. InBev. Yeah. So. Last year? 2009. 2009, a European beer company mm -hmm. bought? Belgian beer company. Belgian beer company. Okay. Yep. Why don't you just tell the story? Because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Bought, obviously. bought anheuser Bush. And, and InBev owns, owns what? Uh, they have like Stellar Artois, Pooh Garden, Laugh, a ton of different beers, Bass, Bex, plethora. So they bought anheuser Bush, making us the largest beer company in the world. But we produce quality, quality beers, such as Shock Top, one of your favorites, obviously. Yep. And um, well, anything under the sun. If you I name something, it's probably Anheuser-Busch. You guys have got or it covered. Or we start, distribute it. Start naming. Start naming. OK, Bass Specs, Who Garden Laugh, I already said those. Yep. Um, Michelob, yep. Ultra. Um, we also distribute for some other ones, like Widmer, Red Hook, um, Kona. Yeah, keeps going. Rolling Rock. Start naming the Oh my Canadian gosh, I'm just beers. like listing them off. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, so here's what I need. I actually got my pan a little hot. Obviously, Bud and Bud Light. Obviously. 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 Didn't have to name those. How about a Kokanee? Kokanee, yeah. yeah. We yeah. actually do. Here. We do. No. Mm -hmm. You guys don't oh. own it, you distribute it. We distribute it. Kokanee, quality, quality Canadian beer from, from our homeland that we really like. Have you had a Kokanee? I have. It's great. Wonderful. Do you know everything about beer? Oh, it's you that's making all this noise. I'm dropping. I keep thinking why this is happening. You want me to fix that? Sure. I'm, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. just awkward girl. I can't <laughs> monitor her mic today. Oh, because this needs to go in here. Yeah. That's oh, because a piece of... Because it's broken? This is, it's broken. Hey, Max, this is no Thanks, bueno. Max. Oh, my bad. Way to go. Set Way set to up. give the girl a thing. Let's set up the blonde Well, you know what? We're going yeah. cooking anyway, so... I know. Thanks. Yeah, you can focus on cooking. You can just tell it, you know, thank okay, you. Okay, here's butter. This is better. Okay, now I've got butter in this pan, right? A lot of butter. But the dish is, look, there's a lot of uh, butter in this. There's beer, there's lemon juice. Don't freak out that there's too much of, of this because you're not going to eat all of this butter by yourself. I mean, you know, the shrimp are going to be cooked in this, but 
they're gonna just do really nicely. So here's wow. here we go. I'm gonna throw these shrimp in. So you know, look, I'm a fan of the shell on devein shrimp because part of the fun of this whole dish is is uh, peeling the shrimp. It's like a it's a, it's it's a, it's its own entertainment. You bring it to the table in this and set it down and then you, get, you peel and you eat mm -hmm. and you talk and you throw the shells around. Look at, I threw this in a second ago and when the first flip, you can see they're already starting to change colors, right? Mm -hmm. This is happening. Okay, so let me just get this. Get one of these guys. We want this butter melting more. Okay, this shirt just came from the dry cleaners. <laughs> and if I just spilled butter on it, I'm going to be so mad. Oh no, one of your plaid shirts. Butter. Yeah, they all just came back. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> all right, so look at the shrimp right here. We are a family of trolls. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I all right, you here. weren't listening today. We were talking about I got a about suggestion. It. Why don't we do this? Kelsey, pour another one? Pour, yeah, yeah, we need uh, Kelly, Lynn, Max, and you Shannon doesn't get any. Sam, yes. what? what size are the shrimp? Oh, okay. The shrimp are 3140s. I think they're perfect for this, Lynn. Nice. So now we need some garlic in here. So I've got the garlic right here. I need my garlic press. We talked about the garlic press before. Uh, we'll do a show. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's oh, right. It we'll do a show as we get closer to the holidays in the next few weeks because you can start thinking about this stuff. A selection of things that you could give somebody who cooks that you want to have good stuff. And this garlic press. Sam's favorite thing would be oh my god it would be my I'm oh so my much god. like Oprah and Sam's Ellen. Sam's favorite thing. Why did you have to call it that, Max? <laughs> I've actually had I have a little note card on my computer screen that yeah. just has notes on it, yeah. and I have that Sam's favorite things written on there. Yeah, I've well, had it there for really like cute. months. That's really cute of you. You know what? The sound of this thing filling beer yeah. is kind of comforting. I like it. But you know that it's working and doing something well. I know. And it only does it to compress, so that's the whole compression system, not using CO2, it's compressing that cool. bladder with inside. Awesome. So, so one nice. to Kelly, yep. uh, one to two of the boys in the back, and Shannon can actually have some. <laughs> I was only saying that Shannon, that Shannon can't have any, oh, uh, because she makes her own beer and she's a bit of a snob. Yes. Nice. <laughs> oh yes, no. Oh, way to call oh yes, in front of the Anheuser-Busch people. Oh, she's all super great and everything, but the second that Kelsey leaves, so Kelsey, wait, I'm gonna wait for you to come back. So, Thank you. look at, we're just continuing this. More God, butter in here. Beer. Cheers, Chief. And Max, now, remember, huh? remember the first time I had a shot cup? U of A. Yeah. U of A. This was our day drinking beer. With the orange, it was so oh, God. yummy. What, our day drinking beer. <laughs> it's a Saturday. There's a big football game against USC. You're on uh, University Ave during the day. What else are you going to do except go to uh, Frog and Firkin and drink a bunch of Shock Top? Okay, look what's going in. <laughs> I've got red pepper flakes, a lot of it. I've got cayenne. Not too much of it because it'll be over the top with spice. Mm -hmm. And a bunch of black pepper right here. We've, we've only got a couple more things to put in this. How's you can it see smelling? The sh oh, it's smelling amazing. I'm just completely, I know I'm just going to F my shirt. <laughs> I'm trying as hard as I can not to, not to stir this. But so now we're almost at the point where the shrimp are almost cooked fully. Hey, we have uh, questions about how much it will be and how much it will be sold for. Oh, yes. Or where it will be sold. She's uh, guzzling oh, she has, beer. Oh, she can't they answer. Know, oh, they can't hear anything. <laughs> they want to know how much? Yep. And can you get them yet? Mm. You can. Um, they range between the, the appliances are a one-time purchase. It ranges between $50 and $55. And then the refills are usually about $14.99, so around $15. Um, they're located within Southern California, especially San Diego. And you can go to draftmark.com and type in your zip code and you can find a store near you. Nice. So it's quite easy cool. to find. So... Sorry, one sec, Dad. Melanie yep. Pelagnas in Dallas, Texas, was wondering what it's called. It's called a, the draft mark. It's called draft. Uh, yeah. The draft, draft mark. mark. Draft mark. Uh huh. One word. So look, you work for Anheuser Busch. Yeah. You got a wide range of beers from Stella to Left to to Bud. Mhm. Mm what do you do with your friends that say 
it's about small beer. Right. It's about the little breweries. Your stuff is just not there. How do you answer that? Well, a lot of the small breweries are ales and yep. ales are very quick to produce. Um, lagers are a lot harder to produce. Budweiser is actually one of the hardest beers in the world to make. Oh. Um, so obviously people's taste profiles differ. Right. People like really hoppy, people like very mild. Um, we have basically something in line with everything. And all of our yeah. stuff, even though it is big, it's all craft brewed. It's all individually. Right. We have brewmasters, we have people in there hand selecting the finest hops, the finest yeast, the finest whatever you're using to make that specific beer, wheat, and hand producing each one. But we also distribute for smaller ones. So we um, recently acquired um, Goose Island, which oh. is a craft oh, yes. Yes. brand out of Chicago. Yes. Which is a great brand. Huge, yes. wonderful. We're bringing over Honkers and 312. Honkers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, let me just take a second. Okay, so I need to add some liquid now. So the liquid will be this, and look how convenient cool. this will be. Look at that. Nice. Oh, that is cool. You know what? She is every guy's dream I know. girl. <laughs> I know that. I'm cracking up. She's <laughs> busting out everything. Like I'm thinking the Max guys right now are watching trivia. going, okay, yeah. just post a phone number. <laughs> All right, so look at the beers in here. Here's what else we need. We need some lemon. So I'm going to cut both of these and squeeze these in. And really, I think just I think we're like one more thing away from being ready. Some Worcestershire is going to go into this. I'll throw a little bit of parsley in because I want some color on this. Uh, but aside from that, oh god, where's my? Nobody move. <laughs> Okay, oh, while you're looking, wait, while you're Got looking, it. I just yeah. want to respond to Guy Davis real quick. Yes, yeah. Dirtbags was at U of A when I was there. Oh, The funny. main bar on campus. Cute. And it has been for decades. And Greg Rampey did a shout out to Shannon, Buckeye, Ohio. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ohio is the state this year for okay, the election. Okay, so we got lemon. <laughs> We've got the beer in here. <laughs> that looks great, man. Just yeah, wait. Okay, back up. Back up. If I don't have Worcestershire, I'm just going to rip somebody's face oh. right off. Why do I say it and now I don't see it? Uh oh. I just had it. Oh, God. Oh, Everybody just. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Okay, I got it. 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 <laughs> so now that you solved that, what are you doing with the bread, man? The bread's dipping, dude. Just dipping? Yep. Okay, watch. So now the Worcestershire is going to go in here, turn this down a little bit. Oh, yum. It's going to add like a little. It's so good. It's going to add a, like a really nice. <laughs> Kelly, you're like drooling over your mic right now, aren't you? I actually am. I'm starving, and that is so good. Big, buttery goodness. And there's bread. Yes. <laughs> Shannon? I love bread. Back up. And we have fresh draft beer. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is like the perfect thing. It's the perfect uh, beer for this, right? The citrus. Uh, from the lemon is going to be beautiful with the orange that we've got going on here uh, in the in the beer itself. All these flavors are going to pick up each other. And Draft Top actually Walk has that way for a sec. orange and citrus and uh, lime extract. It does. Not it extract, does. but the peels within it. It's wow. Right. Oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah. See, why didn't I know and that? And coriander. Yeah. Be perfect with the shrimp. Wow. Okay, watch. Here we go. So we're just gonna do this. We're gonna just gonna eat right out of this. Is that okay? Delish. Delish. She said. Mm, okay. Parsley, right? Little color right there. Lynn's already thinking about the picture that he's gonna take. That's gonna have the Sam the Cooking Guy Sam Livecast logo by it, so everybody can get a sense of what they're supposed to do with their pictures. We gotta print it out then. Don't worry about it. Watch this. Hold on. Don't forget, if you want to enter the contest, go to the samlivecast.com. Go to the tab that says, what is it? Food? Some, what is it? Sorry. Show us your food. Show us your food. Show us your food tab. And then you'll get all the instructions right there and print the logo and everything. You? Thank you. You're so welcome. Me? Okay, watch. Here's how this happens. Uh, we need a shelf. We need a little bowl for spent shells. So it goes like this. Take one. They're going to be hot. No, 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 no. I, I like it like this. So here's what I say. You okay. hold it, right? The tail over the top like a little boy, a really little boy <laughs> peeing, right? Yeah. So you hold it like this. What? And then at the ass end of the <laughs> shrimp, can you see the shrimp? Yes. Yep. You have it. shell on each hand and each fingers. So then you hold just like bare shrimp 
and you squeeze where the tail meets the shell and this happens. Boom, and then you have just shrimp ah. in one hand and shell in the other hand. And the shell goes in the bowl. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, here you go. Thank you. The napkins of kings. Perfect. And then you do this, right? Take oh, some of the I'm bread. Oh, so excited for this part. And here's the really good part. So a little bit of spice, not too much. Dip it in there really good. Lemon, mm -hmm. spices, shock top. You can taste the beer. Really beautiful mm -hmm. flavor. Isn't it nice? It's delish. Where's my glass? <laughs> Get your glass. We have to end this. We do. Okay, today's been really on good. 200. Thank you. You're welcome. 647. Went a little long tonight. We're trying to keep them shorter. Everybody that gives us shit about going short, you got what you wanted tonight. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you. Love that you're here. Love all your beer knowledge. Love being here. I'd like to be, uh, I'd like to be um, in the Anheuser-Busch factory sampling one of everything one day. How, do you ever do that? Just go in. Like Friday afternoon, I come on everybody, let's that. go. You're just cracking <laughs> bottles know. and uh, the draft mark pods and everything. It's party now. town. It's party town. <laughs> uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Make this. It's a perfect weekend to make it. Who cares what the weather is? Good, bad, doesn't matter. You saw me make it, took no time, really delicious. Get some good beer, put it in, enjoy it. Monday, Marcella Valladolid will be here from the Food Network. The first time a Food Network person, and probably the last, will be in this kitchen. <laughs> and you're going to adore her. Have a great weekend. Don't eat bad food. Promise? All right. See ya.